what's up YouTube? Okay, so today um, I'm kind of going to do a 22 and 23 week pregnancy update slash update with my life. It's all kind of in the same video anyway. So for starters, as of today, which is Wednesday, I am 23 and a half weeks pregnant. Um, as far as like symptoms and stuff, they're all kind of the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and point out the obvious, which is the fact that I have a new background and that first part being I did get a house the house that I was talking about in my last video that I think I just uploaded yesterday so if you've had a chance to see that go watch it if not then you already know that I got the house that I put the application in for so um, that happened um, we are moved in we've been here for two weeks now I think and we're still kind of trying to get everything settled and I mean we're first-time house owners but we don't own the house we rent the house but this is our first house that we've had um I feel like I'm cutting myself out of frame here is that better okay that's better sorry um I have a ghetto setup going on because I don't have any word of film yet and I'm working on that and um what else uh, when we get everything set up I will do a house tour um, but that's not going to be for a little while because like I said, I don't have everything set up and I don't want to show you like a bare house and be like, this is what's going to happen. I just want to go ahead and show you everything all at once. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the pregnancy and then we'll go from there. So one of the biggest things, I have a list, so if I'm looking down, that's why. Um, one of the biggest things I have definitely noticed these past two weeks is fetal movement. Um, I've been able to feel my baby move since, um, which you guys know she's a girl. Um, I've been feeling, uh, her move since probably about 17 weeks. Um, well, hello Brody. My dog just decided to join me. Um, I've been feeling her move for a while now. That's nothing new. But now it's like I can see her move. Like I can like have my shirt up and watch my belly and my belly will actually like move with her. And um, she's definitely like now it's not just like little flutters I feel anymore. It's like actual definite kicks. And mostly she does it after I eat. She does it really bad. And um, if I've been doing a lot of walking like at work, at my job, I have to walk like to and from places a lot. And if I've done a lot of walking and I sit down, then she starts going like crazy. Um, now, Dalton, which was my baby daddy, um, he hates that term. He is the baby's father. Um, he can put, like, he's been able to feel her move as far as, like, the flutters. He could feel the flutters, but now, like, he can put his hand on my stomach and, like, push kind of hard. And, like, it irritates her and she'll kick him back. And so he likes to do that at night. Um, another thing, my ribs have still been killing me. I have a lot of pain in my ribs. Um, everybody keeps telling me it's just from uh, going to, or from my organs all pushing up and in, into my insides and like separating my ribs. And my ribs are just making more room for everything. And some women feel it and some women don't. It just depends and I'm definitely feeling it. Um, it's killing me. I feel like I'm dying. Um, I thought it was back pain at first until I did some research and found out it was my ribs moving. Um, I go to the doctor today, and I'm going to talk to her about it today. Um, I go in for my 24-week update, up, my 24-week pregnancy appointment, but I'm really only 23 and a half. So, um, another thing that is killing me this pregnancy is my hair has been so dry. Like, I haven't even wanted to straighten my hair because of the fact that my hair has been so dry. So I just recently went and picked up this uh, argan oil from um, Morocco. It's like the organics brand. Um, which they have an entire like shampoo conditioner line. But I'm afraid because like my roots produce oil. Like that's not an issue. My issue is like my ends are so dry and it's not from split ends. I trim my hair. It's not from that. It's like the pregnancy. Like they say, if you're having a girl, she sucks all the beauty out of you. I truly believe that because, I mean, my skin has been dry. I've never had dry skin. I've always had extremely oily skin. I've had acne problems my whole life. And like everything has just went dry from the pregnancy. 
So I did pick this up and I've started using it and I like it for the most part. Um, I was using Stray Argan Oil from Sally Beauty, but when I first bought it, I bought it in like 2009 probably. And I bought it when it first came out and it was on sale and it was like $6.99 for like a three ounce bottle. <laughs> and that bottle just ran out like a month ago. This is $5 and it's 3.3 fluid ounces. So it's the same, it's the same like amount size, but it's cheaper and with the baby on the way, a house payment and everything else, I can't really afford a whole lot of money. So I went cheap and I bought a drugstore brand and it's not bad. Another thing that has plagued me these past two weeks is crying over spilled milk. And what I mean by this is like anything, I mean anything will set me off and I'll just start bawling. And I've been dealing with a lot as far as like my family goes. I've got a lot of bad news, um, especially with like family members' health and stuff. And it's just been like overwhelming amounts of stress. And I just break down and start crying. Like <laughs> Dalton will tell me, no, I can't do this. And I'll cry. Like I'm two and he just told me I couldn't have a toy at the store. Like it's ridiculous. I cry over everything. And I know it's pregnant. And like I'll even be crying and I'm like, I don't even know why I'm crying. Because I know it's stupid and I know it's pregnancy related and it drives me nuts. Um, another thing is I've been so tired and like I still am partial like to like my work schedule probably has a lot to do with this because I am getting up so early in the morning because I have to be at work at six o'clock. So like part of me wants to be like the reason you're like this is because you go to work so early but at the same time like damn every night by like 8 30 I'm like I don't know if I can stay up any later I'm ready to go to bed and like to me that's not normal like I was always a night out like I would stay up all hours of the night but waking up at five o'clock in the morning can kind of do that to a person um the worst thing I have to say as far as like I could deal with the crying the ribs um everything else that I've dealt with the past two weeks the thing that kills me the most is leg cramps I will wake up four to five times a night with leg cramps. I thought it was because my potassium is low because I've had multiple times of being told that my potassium is low and I need to drink more orange juice and eat more bananas and maybe even take a potassium supplement. But like, I will seriously do, do all of that. I'll eat orange or I'll eat bananas. I'll drink orange juice and I'm still getting leg cramps like crazy. Then I found out that some women are just plagued with leg cramps in second trimester and it carries on to third trimester. So it's just kind of my body. Like that's just how it is. And they are so bad. I just want to cry. Um, so I wake up probably four or five times a night with leg cramps and they make me want to kill myself. <laughs> and, um, then the last thing that has happened as far as like pregnancy wise goes in the last two weeks is I had a hospital scare. Um, I went to work on Monday, not like Monday as in last week, Monday, which would have been what? I don't even know. It was a week ago. It's been a while ago, but anyway, okay, let's, okay. First I woke up in the middle of the night at like 1 30 in the morning and puked like three times. And I just kind of was like, okay, it's just morning sickness. I had Denny's pancakes. Denny pa Denny's pancakes made me puke before I was pregnant. So now they're just really making me puke. Um, so I just like kind of triggered it with that and went with that. So I got up at five o'clock in the morning and went to work and everything was fine. And I was at work for probably 45 minutes and all of a sudden it just hit me. And I ran to the bathroom and I puked again. And this wasn't like I had morning sickness a few times throughout the beginning and so I was like, maybe it's just morning sickness. So I went and then it was like constant, like I puked once and then I'd come back out. And then like 20 minutes later, I had to run back to the bathroom and puke again. So I called my manager and the problem is, is the type of work I do. I work with kids through DCS system and, um, I can't leave my children unattended. Like I can't just like walk off post and go do something else. Someone always has to be in care of the kids. They have to be on supervision of the kids. So my facility manager was like, we don't have anybody to replace you right now. Just try to hold off until 10 o'clock, you know, uh, 
understand that there is an extra staff in the area that I was working. So just go to the bathroom as needed, you know, and just kind of try to hold off. I puked like six times between 8.30 in the morning and 10 o'clock. And so I was like, clearly I have the flu. There's a flu bug going around. It went around third shift at the facility. So I was just like, I have the flu. That's all there is to it. And um, so I, came, I went home at 10 and I came straight home and I went to bed and I slept until 2 because I had to go pick Dalton up for work because we work at the same place and we only have one vehicle right now so I had to go pick him up. Um, went and picked him up at 2 and I was still feeling fine. Uh, no problems. Uh, hadn't puked. Then about 3.30 I just got plagued again and I went to the bathroom and threw up. So, you know, in my head I'm going, this can't be good on the baby. So I started Googling, you know, flu during pregnancy to see what it said. And um, the only thing it said was dehydration is a big scare. So <laughs> I was like Googling signs of dehydration, which my doctor tells me I can't Google anything, so shh, don't tell her I did that. But anyway, so I started Googling signs of dehydration and that kind of stuff. And um, one of the big things about dehydration was not urinating. Like, if you don't urinate, I'm like... So in my head, I'm trying to think of the last time I urinated, and the last time I had urinated was that night when I puked. Like, when I got up in the middle of the night and went and puked, like, I thought I was going to puke, and then, like, it went away, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to use the bathroom and go back to bed. But, like, I barely even had enough time to, like, pee and flush before it was coming up. Like, I was terrified I was going to have to puke in my pee, and it scared the crap out of me. But anyway, so I figured it out. That had been 18 hours. So I'm drinking water, trying to make myself pee, and I just can't pee. So I finally went to the hospital. At the ER, they ran tests to check to make sure the baby was okay and all that stuff. And um, I ended up getting two liters of water pumped into me. Well, fluid, not exactly water. And Dalton made a lot of fun of me because I pretty much cried when they put the IV in. And the entire time the IV was in because it hurt. And so now he says he's not going into the labor and delivery room, but he is, and he has no choice in that. Um, but anyway, um, they pumped two liters of fluid in me, and after they did that, I finally got up and I finally went to the bathroom, and I finally, like, got enough urine that they could do a urine test to make sure that, because, like, my kidney functions and everything came back normal from the blood test, and they did a urine analysis, and everything on that came back fine, so they finally released me, and they didn't even tell me, like, if I had the flu or anything. They, didn't, they weren't even concerned about that. They were concerned about my dehydration. So, that was scary, but I got to hear her heartbeat, and she was fine. She was kicking. She was moving. She, it wasn't bugging her that I was puking, per se. It was just they were worried about me being dehydrated and her not getting enough fluids in her to, like, calm her down. So, that's pretty much it for my 22 and 23 week update as far as my pregnancy goes. But, the other major thing that's happened in the last four weeks, yeah. It happened, like, right before my birthday. My birthday was two weeks ago, I think. Yeah, because I got engaged. Dalton proposed and I said yes. Clearly, he wouldn't not say yes. So... Before I get a billion questions is when the wedding is. We're not getting married for a while. He just wanted to be engaged because he feels better saying that we're engaged rather than just dating and pregnant and all that fun stuff. Even though it wasn't an accident that we got pregnant. I don't know. It eases his mind. And I'm going to marry him. Just not yet. I'm not ready for that. So, uh, I think that's it. And um, now for this belly shot that's going to be nearly impossible to get. We're gonna try it anyway. I've definitely started showing in the last two weeks. I actually look pregnant now, I'm not just fat, which used to bug the crap out of me. And I no longer fit in any of my clothes. I have very limited clothes choice between t-shirts and t-shirts and hoodies. And I have one pair of jeans that fit me. But other than that, that's it. So anyway, that is my 22 slash 23 week update and I will see you hopefully next week now that I'm kind of figuring this crap out as to the next update and so I'll see you then.